we have PD, which is probability for D is 60, 60, right? 60 per 150. Okay, and if female student which has the black hair, we have 40. Per 150 so please don't get confused with this one right yes this is the next question but from the similar table because I want to show you the difference okay uh, for the probability for D and E okay sorry probability for the intersections of D and E okay we can see here what is the intersection between D and E, which is the male student has black hair and female student that has black hair? Okay, is there anything uh, that intersect to each other? No, all right, okay, I cannot see it. So, the answer is it is mutually exclusive, mutually exclusive okay what about the p the probability for the union okay again we can look at the um, formula here a b so you have to add up all the value here So I mean to say this is uh, mutually exclusive to be uh, zero, right? This this value should be zero. Okay, so you add up all the value here, so you get sixty plus forty hundred per one five zero. So that's how you get probability of the union of male student female student okay so also we can also uh, we can also cross check right because uh, the total for black hair male and female students are 100 here so which is the same with the answer should be 160 plus 40 100 per 150 Okay, next up is uh, how to calculate probability for the unions if event A and A B are mutually exclusive or of each other. Okay, just now as previously uh, we have demonstrated uh, on the previous example. So here, um, okay, look, look, look at the previous example. Because of this, because this one is zero, right? So we tend to ignore the later part so we only have PA plus PB okay so that's how it works okay next up we have cal to calculate probability for the complements okay let's move forward to calculating probability for the complements Okay, as the formula suggests, and before we come to the formula, okay, let me briefly kind of explain to you okay, about the complement. Okay, let's say the we are aware that this is complement whereby for the set of events, if let's say this is A for event A, and com com Complement was defined by this one. We need to say that the outcomes of this is not intersect does not intersect with the events of A. So 
this applies for this one. We say that for any event A, A, the probability of A to intersect AC equals to, of course, zero, right? And then next up is since either A or AC must occur thus by following the third law, the probability of A union of AC must equal to one. Right. So, uh, having said that, the probability of A union to complement of A equal to probability of A plus probability of A complement which equals to 1. So, this is rearranged to come up with this which is the probability of complement A equals to 1 minus probability of A. Okay, alright. So, this is truly related from this one chapter to one chapter. Okay, moving on to the next question, which is from the similar table. Okay, looking at the table again. Alright, so, but the thing is, the question is, calculate PF, which is the probability of F, which is the student is male, alright? But uh, please pardon me for intersection because actually this is not cal to calculate probability for intersection. It should be for complement. Right. So okay. But whilst I was writing this, whilst I am writing this, so maybe you can just take a while, guess, or maybe you can just calculate first. Okay, this is complement, which is how to calculate probability for complement. Okay, have you got the answer? All right, so let's go. Uh, let's find it together. Okay, how to calculate PF? Okay, this is PF. Okay, PF equals to like in this case should be PA. So. The question and and looking by referring to the similar table previously, so the the probability for f which is student is male equals to sixty plus twenty five, right? So it equals to eighty five per hundred fifty, as mentioned in the calculation here. Okay, let's proceed to the P complement to F. So from the graph, uh, from the formula here, we can see that the complement, in order to calculate the complement of the A, it should be equals to like 1. After we have answered, uh, we have found the, and we have calculated the PF, so it's time to find and to calculate the PFC. So from the formula here, the PFC, uh, which is in this formula, it should be A, but we, we can change it to PF, okay? Uh, so, in this case, the the formula is PFC, P, right, FC equals to 1 Sorry, pardon me for the bad handwriting. Okay, PF. Okay, something like this. So you get the calculation for PF already, which is eighty five per one five zero. So one minus eight per 150 so you're gonna get
65 right is it is it correct 65 per 150 okay let's check okay 65 40 plus 25 so we have 65 per 150 Okay, let's move on to the uh, calculating probability for the intersections. Okay, previously we found the probability for A and B, I'm mean to say the intersection of A and B directly from the table, right? Okay, like previously, uh, for example, the, the, the table, for example, the exercise before, we can simply get the value from the table, which is 60 per 150. Sorry, but actually it's not usually it's not that simple. Okay, for such cases, the rule the rule for calculating a uh, p probability for a intersect b depends on the idea of independent and dependent ideas. So basically, this this is the general rule or the general formula for probability for a given by given by b, which equals to probability of a intercept B per probability B uh, B if PB is not zero okay so uh, let's move on to the next slide which is which is on the conditional and unconditionality